origins of the Danish Air Force lie in 1911 when the Danish Navy decided on an aerial arm, an innovation which was taken up by the Danish Army in the following year. Initially, the main aircraft of both forces were French reconnaissance biplanes, such as the Farman HF-20 and the Cauldron G-3, although Denmark's neutral status during World War I ensured that their air forces came through the conflict intact. The experience impressed upon them the potential of aircraft in combat and prompted them to start ordering fighters such as the German Hansa Brandenburg W-29, the French Brigé 14 and the British Avro 504 before going on to develop their own aircraft. Prior to the outbreak of World War II, the Danish planned to modernize both Air Force wings with new aircraft. The first step to that was the acquisition of 12 Fokker D-21 monoplanes in 1938. Further plans called for the acquisition of the Fokker G-1 heavy fighter, along with the production license, as well as the fairy battle light bomber. The latter two procurements didn't arrive in time. On the 9th of April 1940, Denmark was invaded by the Wehrmacht, following the Weserübung operation. Quickly realizing that they were outnumbered, the Danish government surrendered just two hours after the invasion had begun. The capture of Denmark had been important for strategic reasons, as it made the later invasion of Norway a bit more easy for the Wehrmacht. Denmark found itself under occupation. One of the first rulings of the occupiers was to prohibit the existence of any military air force. The Luftwaffe began building air bases in Denmark, also using the earlier built Danish infrastructure. While some former Danish Air Force's pilots stayed in Denmark, others fled to the British Isles. One of them was Kai Berkstedt, who, with 11 kills, became the highest scoring Danish ace of the war. Another ace, Peter Horn, served for the Luftwaffe on the Eastern Front as part of the Free Corps Denmark, a military unit formed by Danish collaborators to fight against the Soviet Union. Denmark itself was liberated by the Allies in May 1945. After the war, Denmark quickly found itself in a Western sphere of influence. In 1950, a unified Danish Air Force, the Flüvewappnet, was created and was quickly supplied with 39 Mark 9 Spitfires. Throughout the Cold War, the force underwent a series of modernizations, which included acquisitions of aircraft such as the North American F-86 Sabre, the Republic F-84 Thunderjet and Lockheed F-104 Starfighter. <laughs> 